Developing young leaders is very important to the growth of the Emirates and especially Ras Al Khaimah. The biggest challenge facing young global leaders is probably doubt. Throughout the Middle East, the, the majority of the nation today is young people. I think the world just woke up suddenly and said, hey, the youth is important, you know, let's take care of that. Teaching the youth, giving examples, as uh, Gika Wazaki said, of heroes from the region uh, to who the youth can uh, aspire is very important. Because they say the longest distance a leader has to walk is between their mouth and their feet. We really need to have a caliber of leaders of a completely different magnitude than what we have seen before. We need people, you know, who could guide youth in the right direction. Empowering them with the tools, the skills and the information where they can make informed decisions is really important. If we don't empower them, if we don't have their voices heard, then everyone is losing. The youth are the only ones that can lead you towards the future. It's becoming more and more crucial that we come up with solutions that were never even imagined. Without innovation, we have no results, we have no leaders, we have nothing happening in this world. The main thing is how do you solve a pain and how do you solve it effectively, efficiently, uh, in the shortest time possible. If we focus on uh, renewable energy, uh, electric cars, uh, connectivity, the future will be so different and we need somebody to shape it. Sustainability is simply about thinking beyond our lifespan. Um, it's about being selfless and about thinking ahead as opposed to really thinking only inward and towards your own generation. When you have to do something, don't, don't just think on the consequences of today. It's already too late, but now is the time where we can say, let's all put our hands together and work on sustainability to find a solution to save this world. Uh, there is countries are naturally gifted from gods to become a good tourism hub. Ras Al Khaimah is rich with natural assets, marine life and wildlife. If we're not going to explore the boundaries outside our countries, how are we going to like connect with people? How are we going to bring happiness and peace? Again, like uh, Kawasaki mentioned, it's a phrase I love to say, that when you look at the Earth from space, there is no borders. You know, the only way you break down these barriers is travel.